Oh boy! Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do I have a video for you guys today because today is the day we're putting the 300 in the swamp. Now we're gonna be taking that 300 right there and throwing it on these tires. These tires actually came off the Rubicon. They're the stock ones. And uh, we do gotta pull them off the blue foiler. Quick update, just real quick. We pulled the top end off of the $400 300 and it does have some slight play in the crank. Not too good. It's got a little side to side but not hardly any up and down. It's just side to side. Here is the old cylinder. If you can see that line right there from that side to side play, we do have some wear and tear on this cylinder head and that is what caused it to start smoking. The piston doesn't look to be in bad shape. The valves are good. Throw this new top end and this new piston on, we should be ready to rock. But that's not the point of today's video. So let's go ahead, cut it to the montage, get these tires swapped over and go rip, baby. that four-wheeler baby yes sir she is looking juicy looking fresh now we did have to run spacers in the back to get these wheels out far enough uh so it's not rubbing anything but uh it looks it looks perfect miller's putting four psi in every tire so we don't float yeah guys let's just go ahead slap on the helmet and uh go see what the 300 can do all right good sir what a clean 300 we're gonna set this right here don't lose it well, i gotta pull you out yeah, probably gonna have to get pulled out. This thing looks so freaking good, dude. I wonder how it's gonna do in the mud. We got the 25s on her. We were originally gonna put the cryptids on it, but uh, we couldn't do that without lifting it. It rides pretty good so far. Hopefully the snorkel's still sealed and hasn't vibrated anything loose. This thing did go in the pond clean and clear yesterday. No issues. It's been sunk once. I had Christian actually change the oil in it, and I think he came up like, I don't know, like two quarts short. So we ran it on super low oil. Good job, Christian. But uh, I probably should have checked after him. Hopefully this thing doesn't explode today or else I'm gonna be rebuilding it like I'm rebuilding the blue one. You can definitely tell a loss in power. <laughs> Go see where these boys are. I think we can wheelie it. I wanna see, I wanna wheelie it. That didn't work. That's not gonna work. Little 300s are hard to wheelie, man. This thing's so slow. <laughs> Damn, look at that clean 300. Good grief. Bro, that thing's so clean. Every time we get it out, it's like, Damn, 99, baby. Definitely, I might go ahead and replace those stickers. I got the stickers inside the garage. Man, that's clean. All right, you ready? I know a lot of y'all have been waiting for this. Raiding on a 300 in the swamp. Should be good. I'm excited. I don't know how this thing's gonna perform because, you know, we just do have stock stock Honda tires on here. But they're practically brand new. The brakes on this thing are phenomenal. Oh, man. This boiler right here is actually super clean, especially for the price I got it at, man. Holy cow. I got this thing for a steal. Go ahead and go through the little mud hole right here. Look at the lily pads growing up. <laughs> wow, it's deep. I don't think I've ever seen this this deep. We're kind of struggling to get through here. That's that's not okay. I don't know what the deal with that is. Not wanting to shift correctly. All right, time for the swamp. Oh boy, dropping this thing. Oh my gosh, the swamp is completely full. The swamp is complete. I haven't seen it this full in forever. We've had such little rain. Oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna lower her down in here. First gear. Hopefully I don't roll it. I'm nervous, dude. It's deep out here, dude. Well, we didn't get very far. It ain't a can am. <laughs> Come on, baby, crawl. <laughs> The deep spot's coming up. We're already over racks. Oh my gosh. Look at how dirty this water is. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> See if I can't get back on it. <laughs> Woo oh, you gotta love it, baby. Bro, it's so deep. I don't think it's gonna crawl. We'll try crawling. I mean, it ain't got nothing. Come on, 300. <laughs> We're gonna go down to reverse. Are we moving? No. <laughs> Come on, baby! Come on! <laughs> We're not really moving. <laughs> 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 oh. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> what? <laughs> Brady! <laughs> she floaty. We got water in the crankcase. Oh man, that sucks. Bro, that happened quick. Oh man, we got water coming into the exhaust. Yeah, exhaust is under. We sunk the 300 again. <laughs> Again, dude? Bro, that happened so fast. I'd keep it running if there was... I would have kept it going if there wasn't so much water in the crankcase breather. It'd probably been smarter to put the crankcase breather in the airbox instead of running all the way up. I didn't really think about that. Because it wouldn't it would have a problem running if the, the crankcase breather was in the airbox. But when we started, I seen I seen all this water in the crankcase breather. Probably should have just ran it to the airbox. But I didn't want to cut another hole in the airbox. Because I'm trying to keep it factory as possible. Ah, oh, man, dude. This sucks. She sunk, sunk. She's definitely sunk sunk we're out of oil we're gonna have to go get oil i mean the air box probably doesn't have a lot in it yeah see it'd run like that there's not a whole lot of water in the air box it's just that crankcase breather man ah oh. yeah i know that we haven't been too great with the 300s i was not expecting that to turn over so fast i thought i was gonna be able to hop off and catch it i don't think i've ever sunk the four-wheeler like that though i'm pretty good at catching them and stopping them there's a first for everything yeah i guess it would have kept running too if it wasn't for that crankcase breather you think you messed yourself up by turning it off i didn't turn it off i was gonna keep her going but well, I don't want to run it with water in the oil. Other than that, it'll be fine. Well, I've managed to run on water and without oil, so. Apparently. Thanks, Christian. All right, somebody get me a rope. Oh, good thing about the 300s. They're so lightweight, they kind of float. So you can push them back to the bank. Yeah, if it wasn't for that crankcase breather, we'd be starting her back up and going again. Ah. Oh, boy. We didn't even make it through the swamp. <laughs> we needed some better tires. I was clowning around, dude. We got to go unsink it again. Hook up the rope and toss it to me. You got to toss it, do you? Yeah, toss it. Nice catch, nice catch. You ain't got to gun, gun it or nothing. Just go, you got it. Wow, that's deep. Well, dang, Bobby. <laughs> this video just got a lot longer than what it was supposed to be. Yeah, now I get to go unsink a four-wheeler, dude. That fresh three quarts of oil, one quart of oil, fresh one quart of oil. Yeah, right? We just put that oil in there because Christian didn't do it when he was supposed to. Where's he going? Why is he? I don't know. I'm starting to think he's stupid. Why are you back? What are you doing? Sometimes I really wonder. What, what are you doing? Oh, no, I, didn't, I didn't think it through. For some reason, I thought I was going to tow you home backwards. <laughs> but, but I understand <laughs> <laughs> dummy bro is this your first rodeo dummy dude dummy what's gotten into you this week christian it's monday what do you is it monday yeah damn it's, it's been a long monday Miller, hop on you got dumb and dumber up here dude's clowning today <laughs> oh my waders are full of water bro the 300 is sunk once again look at all the water in that vent line that's the carburetor vent that's just lovely uh how many times do i have to unsink these four wheelers man that was super funny though i've never like sunk a four wheeler in a mud hole like that i've never tipped one over and i do a lot of riding baby watch this jesus Braden, <laughs> chill the out. Now we're gonna go change the oil, blow out all the vent lines. Hopefully not to clean out the carburetor if any crap got in the, it through the vent lines, which it probably did because that thing is smelling full of mud. I mean, I didn't dunk it for long. I was surprised it turned off. It should have stayed running. Go ahead, drain the water out of the exhaust, drain the water out of the airbox, and uh, go in the garage and start this oil change process. Uh, <laughs> he's a wet boy. This is, every time I ride the 300, I get water in my way. <laughs> Kayla. I'm tired of it. Kayla, we need new waiters. Stand back, I got it. You got it. I got it. <laughs> Going uphill with it. Damn. Oh, yeah. It's heavier when it's full of water. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good job, bud. Oh, look at that mud about to fall off. Looks like a piece of boop. Miller, there it goes. Come on. About to go. Ready Sid's going. No, don't touch it. Don't break. Come on, Bro, Dingleberry. Make sure you got the shot. Are you recording? I'm recording. Get a shot! No, oh, I missed it! <laughs> <laughs> Look at all the water coming out of the airbox. Oh, bro. Look at all of it. Oh my god, it's peeing. Alright, help me push it in. I just want to know how you managed to let it go over the snorkel, the four foot tall bro, swing. I jumped off and it was just already under. Like, I thought I was moving like a cat, dude. I thought I was fast as shit, boy. This thing, this oh, thing's a sunk, this is the submarine. We'll call this one the submarine because it spent so much time underwater. This one's been sunk twice, and we've took it out twice. Two for two. Two for two. two. Well, by the time it's uh, unsunk and the oil's changed, at least I'll be dry. Wait a second. What? That crankcase breather? Mm hmm That crankcase breather has actually got a bend in it. Oh, I wonder if it it's saved not, it. It's not a... 
complete loop, but it's a possibility that kept it from getting water in the motor. Definitely a possibility. Go ahead, pull off the uh, gas tank and a lot of crap and uh, see if, if water didn't get in through the crankcase breather, uh, really just blow out everything, drain the carburetor bowl, fire it up, it'll be fine. Go ahead, drain the carburetor bowl. Oh yeah, that was, that had plenty of water in it, son. That was gross. Oh, I see it. I should have got all the water out. Pull this crankcase breather. All right, check this out. Oh yeah. Oh, it's coming. Oh, she's coming. Have I not made it there yet? Nope, keep going. You blow. You're better you got, blower you got, than me. Yeah. Judy, it's almost there. Keep going. You're f with me. <laughs> it's been out for like two minutes. So. Oh my God, I'm about to pass out. All right, here we go. Oh, it's gonna go all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Filter's a little wet. We're just gonna ignore it. Mint, bro. Mint, mint, baby. Always had oil in it. Where's the trash can? Oh. With that Disney Channel stuff. Crankcase breather is now on. Christian will throw in the gas tank and hook up the gas line. He should fire up. You think the oil's gonna be okay? I don't know, it's okay so far. Not milky at all. Yeah. That's a lot of water. Well, she's running, baby. She comes out milky. Ah. Milky. Milky. Let me see. She got a little white on her, not a whole lot. Mm-hmm. We got a little water in her. Yeah. Just enough. Field trip. Christian field trip. You get to go to town to get oil. What, 1040 you think? WD-40, 10 w 40 all the same oil? shit. Yeah. It's all the same shit? It's all <laughs> the same fluid. shit. It gets diff fluid. I'm ready to sell this thing. I'm ready for you to stop sinking. Yeah, for real, bro, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just happened. You did like a backflip in there. Bro, you just I leaned over. I couldn't go nowhere, so I was just clowning around and then it just yeeted. It was close. If it wasn't for the crankcase breather, I would have started back up and kept rolling. All right, Christian, go get some oil so we can finish this video. Sounds good. I'll be back, guys. Bye, Christian. Take two, baby. Hopefully we don't sink it this time. Oh, boy. Finally got this thing unsunk. It is actually the next day, believe it or not. And uh, hopefully this thing will run. Who knows? This spoiler has been through nothing but hell. We have rode this thing in total. We've probably put about 45 minutes on it and we've already sunk it twice. We got a lot of rain last night, so the swamp should actually be more full than what it already was. Ew. Oh, let's hope we don't sink this thing again. I'm tired of changing the oil. Did we ever throw on? No, we didn't. Oh my gosh, I would have sunk this thing right off the bat. The drain for the air box isn't on. That would have sucked. I don't know where that thing went. We literally would have sunk this thing again. Holy cow, that was that would have been stupid. Where did that plug go? I took it off outside. Where is it? There it is. <laughs> that would have been so dumb. That air box would have filled up so fast. All right, good to go. Now she's watertight. I hope. Fingers crossed, baby. Man, I really do love riding these old four-wheelers, though. It's like a blast from the past, man. Just out here ripping on these old machines like we're kids again, dude. All right, instead of going in right to that deep water, what we're going to do... What the heck was that? That looked like a big fish. We're going to go in on the shallower side and hope for the best. All right, baby. Stay running. That's all I'm asking. That's all I want from you is to stay running. Don't sink today, please. It'll be the third time in a row taking it out and sinking it. All right, we spinning all four? Yep. Why is there a croc in here? There's a croc right there, dude. I don't think I've ever lost a croc in here. Whose croc is that? It's a camo croc. Let's see if I can't get over to it. Come on, little 300. That looks like my size shoe. Bro, that legit looks like my croc. I don't remember ever losing a croc in here, though. Bro, I found a croc. Is it yours? It looks like my but I don't remember ever losing a croc in here. What the heck? Maybe the other one will float up. That's crazy. All right, 300. Let's go. Second gear. Oh, we're cooking through it. Oh, we lost it. See if we can't crawl. Oh, what was that? Come on, baby. All right, I think we're moving. Or we're just standing it up. This 300 has seen nothing but mud since we bought it, dude. Probably wants to go back to the other owner. It does not like me, I don't think. Let's not sink it again. Yeah, no, please don't. Come on, baby, crawl. Brandon, are you stuck again? I think if I just get off and let it somewhat float, I can move. Yeah, we're moving now. Man, this little 300, it ain't no KM. If you guys want to see boggers on this thing or something, some big tires, let me know. So we could lift it up. I'm into my knees in mud, bro. Ugh. Good thing about the 300 is you about push them through anything. We're coming up on the deep hole. We got to at least make it through the swamp one time. All right, here we go. She's going to get dunked. <laughs> yes, sir. See if we can't go out that way. Nope, my croc. Ah, I missed it. <laughs> no, the croc's floating away, bro. That looks like my croc. I got so many pairs, though. <laughs> bro, it's kind of eating through. We're kind of moving. Bro, it's doing good. Bro, it's doing great. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. 
Yes, sir! Let's go! <laughs> all right, let's do it one more time and try to go through the all, the all the way through the deep spot and try to climb out going that way. We gotta try that. I'm gonna go through the deep spot. I'm gonna try to go all the way across and hopefully it makes it. I'm gonna try to pick up that croc while I'm out there. I mean, we're moving pretty fast. I think we a lot of the mud's been settled. And I think we've moved a lot of it. Oh, dude, we're cooking through here right now. We're kind of floating, just a little floaty. Got it! <laughs> Come on, baby! Holy shit. You gotta see if I can't make it up this wall over here. Come on. It's sketchy, dude. I'm so worried about it rolling. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Just gotta get off the bike and let the like let the bike do the work. Let the 300 do what it does best. Just crawl, baby. Think we're gonna do it. Yes, sir. It did it, dude. Oh, we made it. Holy cow. All right, I'm gonna go back through that way and let's head to the pond and get, get this thing washed up and hopefully not sink it. I think it should go out pretty good this way. Or not. Come on, baby. Look how deep that's getting. Oh, it's so floaty. I think we got it here on out. We moved a lot of the mud out of this path, so uh, it should be able to crawl through pretty easy. I smell gas. Oh, yeah, it's cooking through it now. We had to get that mud cleared out of the way, man. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Hell, yeah. That's what I'm talking about baby the little 300 that could the 300 did it on stock son damn rubicon wouldn't have done that all right we're gonna go over to the pond take this thing real deep hopefully really see how floaty it is we got all the tires these 25 inch tires set at four psi hopefully it's not too bad i think the mars what when we're finally doing to this thing what i bought it for and i mean taking it deep baby this thing has all of 12 horsepower it's ridiculously slow so send it into the pond <laughs> all right let's go down here and enter the pond please don't float too too awfully bad it's all i'm asking all oh, the ass feels like it's floating like mad oh it's floating it's floating it's floating it's floating it's floating it's floating i gotta get out of here oh shit. oh shit. my waiters are about to go under oh shit. i got to get out of here this is not good oh shit. i am standing as tall as i can right now trying to keep my waiters up and look how deep it is oh shit. <laughs> all right 300 don't let me down just keep rolling keep rolling <laughs> it's tipping. Oh, we're coming up into a wheelie. Don't like it. I don't like it at all. I am floating on all four fours, I think. The back end's floating up. This is not cool. <laughs> this is not cool at all. I don't want to get wet. Go, 300. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, boys. I don't know what to do. Uh, dude, if I, I can't get off without my waders going under. I can't hardly downshift without my waders going under. All right, we're going to try reverse. I think we're in reverse. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, we're in reverse. No, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Back into reverse. My, my, my exhaust is almost out of the water. <laughs> I don't like this, bro. <laughs> Screw this. Ah, the water's so cold. I do not want to get soaked yeah my my rack's almost out of the water <laughs> christian jump in and save me dude ah, i can hardly reach the throttle this is not okay that snorkel's like four foot tall look how deep that sucker is we're we're flattened right now come on baby crawl out please we gotta get some better tires on this thing these stocks aren't cutting it dude all right we're in reverse i think yeah we're definitely moving backwards the ass hasn't started floating yet get it out of here like a boat maybe we're in neutral i can't tell oh now i can tell and <laughs> sit on the back rack and try to back up oh we're moving we're cooking oh oh shit oh shit oh shit <laughs> oh shit! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, handlebars hit something, got turned. This is not okay, bro! Alright, I think we're, we're, we might have it. I'm sitting here hopping this thing back and forth. Are we sure this is reverse? Oh, there's reverse. I was in neutral. I feel like I'm gonna sink it again. I don't like this. I mean, I like it a lot, but I've done enough oil changes already. Come on, 300. I'm standing completely straight up. Bro, I'm on my tippy toes. Alright, is that second? Third? Can third get us enough traction? Oh shit. Oh sh! Oh sh! I don't know how to get out of here, dude. Bro, it's just getting deeper. I'd hop off and just push it out, but if I get off, I'm gonna get soaked. It's gonna be over my waders. Come on, 300, do your magic. I'm gonna rev her out, baby. I'm about to see bars again. I feel tree limbs under me. The tires are hung up. Yeah, I'm, a st I'm stuck on a tree. My back hurts from leaning over trying to hold on to these bars. Still can't even see my bars. How tall is this snorkel? Oh, I think we're moving. Woo! We're moving, baby. Oh, I'm like a freaking alligator in the water baby just cook it oh my gosh boys that was sketchy holy crap that was a little deep and it was trying to float on me bro <laughs> bro there's a few times it got a little sketch dude in reverse i was doing my best like okay i can't let it dunk 
Like, I was fine with water going in the snorkel, but not the vent lines. Right? <laughs> Holy cow. I think it was a success. We, we, we did the swamp. We got the swamp down. We got the pond down. We sunk a foiler today. Guys, hit that thumbs up button. We are, had a lot of oil changes we've had to do because of this 300. You guys definitely need to hit the thumbs up. Oh, boy. I didn't even get water in my waders. It was so close the entire time. <laughs> we got to get this thing washed up and the tire switched over. I think we're going to have to run the other tires for what we plan on doing. Guys, might want to stay tuned because what we're going to do is absolutely insane. Dude, look at the clean 300 over there. She looks so good. I would have been so sad to do that to, or do this to that, to that bike. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm glad we got this, bro. Oh, uh, there's water in the gas tank vent. Uh-oh. And I can't get it off. There's a lot of water in the gas tank vent. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Houston, we got a problem. Oh, dude, there's a crap load of water in there. Oh, gosh. This thing's full. This vent line must be cut or something. Well, boys, we got to fix that. Hey, Safaraki. Don't want water in our fuel. Don't want water in the fuel. It will rust this tank. So, uh, worst case scenario, we really give this gas tank a good wash and get that water out. A washing gas, of course. Uh, guys, if you would, hit the thumbs up button. We're going to go ahead and close off this video. I'm sure it's getting long. We've done a lot in it, guys. Stay tuned, like and subscribe. You guys have been killing it on the likes recently. I freaking love it. You guys literally been hammering the videos as soon as you click on them, hitting the thumbs up. I love that guys. It's what keeps us rolling, keeps us doing these videos. So if you would hit the thumbs up button and subscribe while you're at it guys, we'll see y'all on the next one.